just a moment to confer with yes. this council. It looks like they are taking a bit of a sidebar type break. Matt, um, she looked pretty animated today talking with her attorney. She was smiling. How has she seemed to you in the times that you've been in the courtroom? Very stoic. And um, it seems like she really appreciates all the supporters. Honor, thank you for accommodating Here we go. Uh, that quick chat. Um, I want to make sure that the court understands that in addition to, and that's what Mr. Yanetti was just uh, urging me to, to bring to the court's attention, I don't want to speak for him, he can speak for himself, um, there is a motion to disqualify which is also robust in, ter in, in scope and terms. Uh, he's going to be arguing that that is yet to be on calendar and he just indicated to me he does not believe there's any way that he could be ready on this briefing schedule for this kind of, th this kind of an influx and incorporation of this level of data. So there's going to be put that in writing as well, Mr. Yanetti. That's fine. I just want to. I just want to put a sort of a precursor to the court. They, we expect additional rules based on what we've got so far, and I'm happy to describe a, a sampling of it uh, if the court wishes. But based on what we've gotten so far over the last 48 hour, 48 business hours or so. There's going to be additional Rule 17 motions, significant additional Rule 17 motions. There's going to be additional Rule 14 motions. We're going to have to supplement the motion for disqualification that Mr. Yanetti just uh, alluded to. We're going to need to supplement the motion to, to dismiss, which I'm alluding to. Uh, we will be filing a motion for extraordinary governmental misconduct based on certain evidence that we just received. And all of this has to predate any reasonable effort that we have to prepare for trial. So my suggestion, and we'll put it all in writing, as the court suggested, but I, I can tell the court that based on what I, I know, and I know that, that the court is operating a little bit in the blind, because you don't know what we, what we know, what we have, um, an April 16 jury trial date is probably not realistic, but I will put all of that, as the court has, has uh, directed me to, we'll put all of that in writing, and we will suggest what we think is a reasonable trial schedule and briefing schedule based on what we've just received. Okay, so I need that by next Monday at the latest, okay? Mr. Goldfeld. Uh, yes. Sure, if I may, the Commonwealth has had the opportunity to go through all the discovery that's been provided. It is voluminous. It is, um, there's a lot of material there. However, the Commonwealth would dispute counsel's representation that the material is new information. I would say approximately 90% to 95% of the material that we've received is consistent with the Commonwealth's theory of the case and the testimony that went to the grand jury of witnesses' statements. Um, there is some new information um, that counsel will use in our motion and the Commonwealth understands that. However, I would say the evidence as a whole is very consistent with um, prior statements made by witnesses that testified for the Commonwealth. Thank you. All right. All right, so put it in an affidavit by next Monday, but these days, as of now, these are our dates. Okay. I want to make sure I got the dates, the, all the dates that the court indicated. March 6th for the motion to dismiss. To file any supplemental memos on the motion to dismiss and the motion for sanctions disqualification of the district attorney's office. The next date, March 22, for motions, all motions in limine. Yes, for, fil for filing all motions. March 28th for hearing on all motions in limine. <laughs> April 12th, last uh, readiness conference at yep. 9 a.m. Yes. And April 16th for jury trial. Yes. Okay. Oh. Your Honor, if I may, I just I may not have heard the March 12th date uh, was at 9 a.m. or 2 p.m. Oh. March 12th. March 12th, we can go at 9 o'clock and we can take all day. So, all right. Your Honor, what are the dates for the Rule 17s that we anticipate filing, which are, we expect are going to be voluminous? Why don't we do those on March 12th as well? Okay, 
Your Honor. We have the uh, we have the calendar the court has suggested, and we'll file our papers by Monday. Closing Great. Case. We'll see you on the twelfth. Thank you. Short and sweet, and they are done there in the Commonwealth against Karen.